You're listening to Apple FM. Find out more at applefm.co.uk. We've heard in the last 24 hours the Brewhouse Theatre and Arts Centre here in Taunton will close today after calling in the administrators. First opened in 1977, the theatre and its arts centre has faced tough economic circumstances with funding cuts from both county and local authority level. Apple AM's Darren Wood sent this report. The Brewhouse Theatre and Arts Centre in Taunton closes its doors today, Thursday 21st of February, after going into administration while all options are considered, with redundancies amongst all the venue staff. Following the years of cuts to its public funding, the 352-seat theatre venue and gallery desperately needed more investment from its stakeholders, but was unable to secure an agreement in time to stay open. Taunton Dean cut its funding by 25% when Arts Council England withdrew regular funding from the Brew House in 2005, and Somerset County Council cut all arts funding in 2010. The Brew House is a registered charity with a board of trustees of local volunteers. Paul Birch, chairman of the Board of Governors, said, In the current harsh economic climate and against a background of long-term underfunding for the Brew House, the position has become untenable. Robert Miles, artistic director and chief executive believes the brew house has worked as efficiently as it can to provide the best and most accessible arts provision for taunton and the surrounding area its restaurant front of house concessions and fundraising activity has all brought such additional income into the building but ultimately 352 seats does not give the margins that they need to survive I apologise to all the suppliers, ticket holders and visiting artists that this will affect. The trustees were left with no other option. Darren Wood with that report there for us this morning. Uh, Joining us on the line is the leader of Taunton Dean Borough Council, Councillor John Williams. Good morning, John. Good morning, Joe. So, sad news yesterday. Um, Another 55 people in Taunton uh, signing on for um, unemployment benefit this morning. Is there anything the council could have done to stop this happening? Firstly, it, it is extremely sad news, <clears throat> and uh, it is a, a tremendous loss to the art and leisure uh, culture of Taunton uh, and Somerset, and, and much wider. They used to draw in people from a, a huge radius, uh, and I really feel for the amateur groups that uh, are going to be affected by this, hopefully only in the short term. Okay. Was there anything that um, the council could have done? The council did work very hard uh, to try and come to some agreement, but unfortunately the accrued uh, liabilities were such that we just do not ha- did not have a deep enough pocket to sustain it. Um, we, l- we looked at various ways. We, we did meet with the um, trustees uh, at their request, to discuss ways forward. There was nothing I would have liked better, and I can assure you my colleagues on the council, than to be able to find a sustainable way forward. But on the facts and figures that were presented to us, uh, we, we just didn't, as, as the only funder remaining, yeah. uh, and I, I would quickly add there that we have maintained our funding right through the difficult periods of cuts coming down from central government. Okay. Uh, and I, I don't think we're quite correct in saying that we cut our funding and the, because the Arts Council cut theirs. The Arts Council cuts came much later. For the last five or six years, we have maintained our grant, which demonstrates the importance of the brew house to the council mm. in serving the community of Taunton Dean. So... We did try, I can assure your listeners of that, absolutely assure, Uh, and we will still be working now with the administrators to try and come up with some sort of solution that brings that uh, first-class venue back into use as soon as possible. So the, the quote from the brew house that we got this morning then that said um, Taunton Dean cut 25% of its funding is, is, is not true then, John? Uh, back in two, This is back in 2005, but it's linked to the Arts Centre funding. Right, and, okay. And those two were totally separate events. Okay, so you've, you've done what you can as a council is what you're saying to us this morning. Yes. Uh, and you're... 
if you couldn't do anything to, to save it prior to the closure this morning, uh, what are you hoping to achieve with the administrators in the next process? We, we have to wait and see what opportunities arise. Uh, and I, I'm not going to second guess what is going to happen, but there is, uh, I know there's an upsurge of interest from the voluntary groups okay. to uh, try and put together a package. Uh, and uh, the administrators will be working with um, agents to actively market the place to see what interest there is in, in that type of venue. Mm. Uh, and I, as I say, I'm not going to second guess what might come out of it, but we, Taunton Dean Borough Council, uh, remain ready and willing to talk to anybody that comes forward with a sensible plan to take this forward into the future. Okay. Uh, and, uh, you know, we will, as we have always supported the brew house, we will consider, subject to members agreeing, continuing that support in some form or other. Okay, so so what you're saying this morning then, John, is that there is a small amount of money um, available for the right group to come forward to, to run the brew house. We have been giving the huge sum of £152,000, okay. and that has remained constant for the last six years, and that is still in our budget. Right, okay. To be, to be allocated by members if anybody comes forward with a sensible scheme. Mm. So, uh, what, the 152000 that you were giving on, on a yearly basis then, on top of what they were getting through the door, and the uh, money they were collecting at the end of performances, you're saying, they're saying is, is just not enough then? No, the problem is they, they have been, um, it appears, they've been running on empty for a little while now. Mm. Um, the expenditure has been uh, outstripping the income. Right. And, you know, no business can continue on that. No, basis. it can't. I mean, it, it was a sad day for Taunton in, in many respects yesterday with um, other jobs announced to be lost at HMV. Um, as a council, what do you think uh, can be done to try and turn things around? Because in, in, in a minute, there's going to be nothing left here in the county town. I think we have to be very careful about being too negative. Um, a lot has happened in Taunton. There, there have been excellent investments by different people. Balancing that, we, we've got talk of a, a new company, manufacturing company coming into Wellington. Uh, and I'm, I'm not belittling the loss of jobs, and we have to do everything we can to mitigate that. But the economic circumstances are such that every place is suffering. And at the moment, I, I would hesitate to say that Taunton is not suffering as badly as other places. And, and what we have to be very wary of is being too negative. Um, mm. It is right to be careful, but we, we've got to be careful not to be too negative and talk Taunton down. So people believe it's a failing place when it isn't. Mm. We are producing jobs. We are improving the public realm to try and make it a more attractive place. We have invested in the Brew House Theatre heavily because we recognise it as a very important venue for attracting visitors into Taunton. And, and that importance has not gone away. What we are doing is planning and investing for the future and in, in all manner of ways, making sure that when we do uh, reach the end of the, the tunnel mm. uh, and those green shoots actually do start sprouting, we will be well placed to take it and move forward. But in the, minute, in the meantime, we have to make sure we all work hard and pull together to minimize the job losses that are occurring because of the national and international economic situation. Councillor John Williams, the leader of Taunton Dean Borough Council, thank you for joining me this morning. Thank you. Why is everybody here? 
Well, I got an email literally about two and a half hours ago to say that the brew house had closed. And I got the email actually came from uh, some amateur theatre friends of mine and also from my equity member friends as well. Um, I, I tread both sorts, you know, at pro and amateur. Um, and just the idea that it had suddenly closed down without warning was a shock. And I thought, well, as uh, we, were, uh, we were called to a sort of get-together, as, we, as you see we have here, quite a few people, probably a hundred and more here, and... Um, I thought, well, I've got to be there as well, because I only live up at Bridgewater, and this is my local theatre. I've trodden the boards here, both as a pro, as an amateur, and I've been in the audience many, many times as well. And it's just a terrible shock and a terrible, terrible loss to Taunton and District. So with the brew house closing, or the doors are closed as we speak, what, if there's one message that you could send to anybody that could make the doors reopen, what would you choose to say to anybody? Um, well, I suppose really to uh, the arts and uh, um, th whatever culture minister, uh, you know, find some money somewhere and um, just keep it going and uh, try and get let us time, have time to put in place some sort of um, self-funding, um, uh, I know, some sort of work so we can, as it were, like do a management buyout and indeed an audience buyout so that we somehow rather keep it going. The theatre was originally built in 1975 through amateurs. It was all promoted by the amateur theatres here, the operatics and uh, the Taunton Thespians and others, and they were the ones that got this place built in the first place. And it seems a terrible tragedy now that having been a professional venue for many years, all of a sudden it's been taken from, away from all of us, pros and amateurs. So more funding and, if necessary, help from the local community. That's where the, uh, the essence should be. You say that you performed here and you've watched many, many shows. Mm -hmm. If there's one that sums up the experience at the Brew House that you had to choose to see again, what would you see here? Oh, golly. Um, there's been so many. I, I prefer straight drama. So I've, I've even seen Arthur Miller here, um, uh, uh, plays which don't generally bring a lot of audience. But I do remember particularly seeing Joe Brown here. Um, of course, I remember Joe Brown from when I was a teenager. I'm only a year younger than him. And uh, so to be able to come here, and I actually interviewed him for the Somerset County Gazette, um, and it was great to, to see that show so full of life <laughs> and, and knowing how old he was, I think this is ridiculous, he sounds like he did in 62. <laughs> OK, so why are we gathered here on a winter night outside of the Brewhouse Theatre in Taunton? Um, it's, uh, it's, it's a silent protest really in response to the 100% funding cuts. Uh, it's just such a sad day because the Brewhouse is so much more than an arts centre, it's a hub for creativity, not just for the actors, but for the crew members and the audience alike. It's a very sad day. OK, and you're here for the same reasons? Do you, have you been here at the Brew House before? Have you watched any shows? Um, yes, I have done both. Um, the, the Brew House is actually a central meeting point for me as a because Emma and I are both freelance sort of artists or filmmakers or something, and I use the Brew House as a meeting point for new clients, um, and then these clients often develop to be friends and then we network and do you know all kinds of things and we see they, they'll see the, sh the brew house and see some interesting shows coming up and they'll come and you know people keep coming back and it's just like a, a place where everything if you're into the arts and 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 just meeting people it's just very important and and so so yeah for me as a business it could be a threat for what I do as a web designer and sort of multimedia artist. So it's much more than just a theatre, it's, um, it's what you make your livelihood out, it extends into your, your business and your friends and it's such a shame it's going. Oh definitely, definitely. So if there was one message that you had to send to anybody that would prevent the closure completely, what would your message be? Get, spread the word and, and really, you know, get people involved and um, follow the Facebook sort of um, blog and the website as well and just look at contact email addresses and just keep writing into people to just get a, a bunch of volunteers together to just to keep, to keep the place going. Okay Katie, so you're outside the brew house on a kind of cold night stood around by loads of people. What, what brings you to Taunton and the brew house tonight? Well, the fact that we're losing one of the very few functioning theatres in the area um, really brings me here and it's got a huge amount of historical significance, not just for me, for lots of people around here. Um, I've performed here, I've worked here, I've worked backstage here. I went to college at Somerset College, so we came and performed here as performing arts groups. Um, and actually, 
it's, it was an amazing place to be because although it's small and it's not, you know, full of wonderful, amazing things all the time, it was worth having um, because it gave me something to do and it gave another outlet because what, what are you meant to do in Taunton? You sit in the pub or you sit in the coffee shop or you shop and then what else do you do? So the loss of the brew house, is it, do you think this is the end or do you think there is hope that it will be saved and, and kind of brought back? I think it will come back. I can't imagine that an outpouring that, like we had over the last couple of days will result in anything else but it coming back, even if it's on a voluntary basis or something like that. I think it will come back. You say you worked here. What kind of stuff did you do? What plays or, or performances um, did you see? Well, I worked backstage um, on a couple of the youth performances. Um, I say worked, I mean I joined in, in um, by stage managed and things like that. So I did Around the World in 80 Days and I did Les Mis and the, the, the youth theatre groups um, is what I did. And like, that was just a great experience, you know, for teenagers to get something else to do and things like that. And it's, it is a unique place and it, you know, it is, it's worth having, of course it's worth having. So if there's one message that you can send back to people that are making the decisions and, you know, kind of are closing the brew house what message would you give them well I can't repeat what the person next to me just said but I agree with his sentiments um, why do the arts get cut first why is it I know lots of other things have gone under but actually arts arts revenue wise is a huge producer you look at the numbers like I can't remember what Robert said but it was like they produce eight eight pounds to every pound that's put in why is that closed why have you stopped that doesn't make any sense. Okay, so why are you stood outside of the brew house on a night when it's not open? It's just to show support to everything that's gone on in the brew house. I've been performing in here for five years now and it's changed me so much as a person. Being on stage is just the most amazing experience ever and I just want to show support and just to show people out there that this theatre means a lot to a lot of people. So yeah, that's the main reason why I'm here. OK, so what kind of shows have you done here? What's your kind of experience of the theatre? Um, I've done the Taunton Scatland Guide Gang Show for five years now, and we've just been rehearsing for our sixth, which has now been rearranged. Um, so that's like singing and dancing, stuff like that, which is just a whole load of fun, really, and it's a really good chance for, especially a lot of young people, just to do something different than the normal things <laughs> where where are you going now the brew house is closed we don't really know um our director and technical team are looking at other places to put on the show but we're not completely sure where it will be or when it will be to be quite honest which is it's upsetting after all the rehearsals we've done because we have started we started in january and done four rehearsals a week so so it's a lot of work that seems to just be going down the drain so how many people are involved in the production that you were going to put on here? Um, the cast involves about 70 people and then we've got loads of backstage. So it's over 100 people who are involved who all don't know what, what's going on with the show now. OK, so if you have to send one message to the people that are kind of, or could change the future of the brew house, what would be your one message that you would say to them? The brew house is one of the most amazing things the arts can change people and that this stage has given me so much more confidence now and oh, i don't know where i'll be without it so we need this sort of place hi my name is justine councillor baker um i'm one of the councillors for taunton dean borough council and i'm here tonight to remember the brew house and to be part of the tragedy of it closing which is extremely sad for our entire community and the fact that the county town of Somerset has lost its one and only theatre is an absolute tragedy. I'm Nigel Parkin and I come from Wivaliscum in Somerset. Well, I've come down here tonight to show solidarity for the community. I think it's very important that an arts facility like this stays open. Taunton is the county town of Somerset. And when you realise that the council, the Taunton Dean Borough Council, are spending millions of pounds on redeveloping this area, the Firepool area, as a centre of arts and leisure, uh, then just to knock that out by closing down the only theatre that we've got in the town uh, it seems very, very short-sighted. Uh, I can be fairly confident, I think, with the support that we've got with this local community in this area, that this is just a temporary setback and that uh, this theatre will reopen again. Uh, Taunton Dean Borough.
were a council I think are very supportive, certainly Councillor Meikle who was involved uh, back in the 1970s with setting this theatre up. Um, he is uh, trying to organise a campaign to get it opened again and I feel fairly confident that with the, with the strength of feeling here that this theatre will be reopened again uh, before the end of this year. I hope. You're listening to Apple FM. Find out more at applefm.co.uk.